Hi there, welcome to the Mountain of God, my name is Camille. Today is 28th of May 2021. Welcome to video number 38. Today once again I want to look at paying attention to details. But I want to encourage you to look at some different things that will have completely different outcome. And some for some of you it might be surprising. So let's just jump right into it. There are three things I want to look at. Each of them will play a little bit different role in where, where this whole thing is going to lead you. First of those, I want you to pay attention to whatever your father told you. Now when you're in this moment that you basically build your relationship, you're much closer to him. You spend much more time with him. You start to have these conversations, this dialogue that, that you know goes for hours. Now he will, he will tell you a lot. And many times he, he did that already many years ago. Maybe you had some prophecies, maybe you had some dreams. Some, you know, some children have tons of visions and dreams. And I want you to pay attention to everything. You know, as we said, everything happens for a reason. And if you understand that your father sees your life from a distance, he sees it from the beginning until the end. And if he's doing everything intentionally, he is going to do whatever he's doing in your life, whatever happens in your life, to get you to the point that you'll be ready to deliver or to, to be efficient enough to fulfill your calling, calling. So everything that will happen will happen to get you to that point. Because he wants you to be ready and you need to be ready and you want to be ready to be able to fulfill your calling. So that's why every prophecy, every dream, every vision that you ever had I want you to have it in you know recorded format. If you if you're able to to get a recording of the prophecy that was given to you, or maybe you know someone's gonna prophesy, record it. It's super important. The same thing with your dreams, with your visions. You want to have it, everything recorded because I can tell you one one example. Uh, I have some some especially one. I've got one prophecy recorded. Uh, it was recorded on a tape, but. But I, 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 tr I kind of re-recorded it to MP3 and I listened to it at least a dozen of times. Because, you know, as, as, we, as we said, everything that is, is told, everything is given to you with specific details. Those specific details were given to you for a very specific reason. You want to look at them and pay attention to them. That's why you want to have it recorded or you want to write your own dreams or, or visions. I had one dream years ago and I don't really have dreams, but this one was important. And I, I remember reading it in, in my journal um, like a few months later or maybe a year later. And I, and I was shocked how many things I got, I remembered wrong. That's why it was so important to write it down. The one thing that what, why those things are happening is to prepare you from, for war what's coming. Many times the visions or the dreams or, or prophecies are given to years before it's going to happen. Why? Because many times you need to familiarize, with, familiar, familiarize yourself with it. You want to kind of live, live with it for a few, for, for some time to be able to understand what's, what's coming, to be mentally prepared. Because then when it's, go, when, when it's going to happen, you're going to say, ah, oh, okay, I got it. Now I understand that some things had to happen in between so now I understand what is the reason for it. You see, many of those things are going to be important and many times those small things are going to happen and you, you discover it. Wow, I, I remember it. That was told me. But if you don't remember, if you don't, if you don't have it written down, you, you're going to miss it. So that's why it's very important because Father gave you those things to lead you through your life. For this thing to be like your guide. Especially because when you'll start to see, see them happening and being fulfilled one after another, then at the moment when you'll be in the, in the worst situation ever, or you've been, you will be down, you will have some doubts, you are, something is going to happen, flip your world upside down. And because you've seen those things happening, seeing those things fulfilled, you'll say, all of those things fulfilled until now, I'm going to believe and I'm going to move forward. So if, if you have those, keep them and treasure them because they were given to you in a very specific time for a very specific reason. Don't ignore them. Please, don't ignore them. 
Second thing that I want you to look at is very old truth that many historians say or, or, or use that you, what you, whatever you're building, you're building on the shoulders of those who are before you. And if you look close enough on your parents, on your grandparents, maybe on your grand grandparents, if you had the chance to meet them, so many even even like characteristics or or facial features or how you behave or or what what you have tendencies for or you know are you what are you fascinated or interested in all those things you share or you inherit from your family from your ancestors so do you really think that if in physical physical world this these things you can you can see that you're so, so you look almost like your mother, almost like your father. Do you really think it's not going to happen in the spiritual world? Of course it will, even more. That's why what you want to do is, if you still have got, if you still if, you know, have your grandparents or grand-grandparents, if they're still alive, maybe your parents, just talk to them, ask them how they meet father, how they, what was, what was important for them, what was the mission of their life, what was the important thing that happened. And maybe even getting back to you, maybe you can ask, you know, what happened? Maybe your parents had some prophecies or something amazing happened or something strange happened when you were conceived or born, or born, born. You see, there are some things that might be important and, and even your parents maybe say that they don't remember that or they didn't remember that. Now when you're asking them, yeah, there, there was something like this. And then you'll start to see that there's so much more. There's so much more things happen and so much more, just if you pay attention, just if you ask, just if you listen, then you understand that you are not alone. Because many times when we discover the world, we feel like we're starting from scratch. There's nothing here and I, I just struggling with everything and everyone because I feel like, like I'm completely alone. But you're not. Because then you, when you hear those stories, you will start to understand that you're doing exactly the same thing as your as your grandparents. You're continuing something that was that was done by your parents or your grand grandparents. Then you start to see that not only in physical world but in spiritual world, you you basically continuing the legacy that you have in your in your bloodline, in your family, in your ancestors. And it's going to ch completely change change your change your view on things. It's going to completely change how you see yourself because then you will start to see that you're part of the bigger group. You're not alone. You're one of those cogs in this much bigger machine. And then you start to feel that, so it matters. So it, it means that I'm not alone. I don't have to struggle because everyone else is trying to find their own place and, and in this machine, especially your generation. Every generation did the same thing, but now if, you, if you're wise enough, you can start to see that this is a legacy. It's just another version, another generation continuing of what happened for, for so many years. And then point number three, which is probably more for, towards intercessors, probably more intercessors are going to be interested in this. But if you're, if you're like intelligent person, you'll start to see that there's so much in it as well. I want you to look at your nation. I want you to look at your homeland. I want you to look at the city that you were born in. I want you to look at, at, the, at everything which is connected to your nationality. Because you might be surprised how many of those things will have impact on you. And exactly as it, it has impact on your family, it will have, it, it, your family had impact on you, your nationality will have your impact on you as well. And you, you want to look at it, you want to see what are the strengths of your nation. And you want to embrace it, you want to be proud of being a part of this nation. Then you'll have to, you want to look at the flaws of your nation, or characteristics of people of your nation. And you want to be better at this, you want to fix something if it's possible to not do the same mistakes as they do, or most of the people might do. You see, there's so much more that you can find if you look and pay close attention, closer attention to what your father told you, to what you can find in your family, maybe even discover, you know, what was the meaning of, of your name that was given to you. It might be surprising. Maybe you'll, you'll discover what, what you, 
that you're the same like you in my case i'm completely i'm so so um i do things exactly like my grandpa and it's fascinating my family is laughing at us because many many of the things we do exactly the same or i do exactly the same as he do as he does and interestingly enough for most of his life he was a um, telecommunication engineer what do you think i'm doing i'm an engineer I'm doing. I'm, I'm dealing with computers and computer networks, communications of the 21st 21st century. My father is a preacher. They really think it doesn't matter. He's a preacher for how many years? It has direct impact on me. This is why I'm doing this. And you know, you'll. I can tell you. I can tell you stories from from my family, from my mother, from my grandmother, from my from my siblings even, things that I discovered that I. Now I understand much more because I understand that I'm part of the bigger group. Then looking at my nationality, I'm so proud that Polish people are the group of people who are always find a way to do what they want to do. You can put, you know, you can say that they can, cannot do this, they cannot do that. They always find a way to get and, 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 and to be who they want to be, to be free to some degree. We had, you know, history, long history of, of having issues being being under occupations, we always find a way to to be pol to be Polish, to stay Polish. And I'm proud of it. There's some more bad bad characteristic of my nation. I'm I'm just not trying to be or trying to be better. Like my nation might be very negative. So I try to be positive. And it helps a lot of people because when they come when I come into the room I'm just positive. And it's that's why people like me. Simple thing. But you see, I want you to see all of those things. Because it will lead you to very interesting conclusions. Because first of all, when you see what, what your father told you, you will start to see that he prepared the path for you to get from your birth to your calling to be led. To have this anchor or this, this guide that if something is going to go wrong, or your life is going to get you know dark, you'll have something to hold on. Because if you remember the prophecies, you'll know exactly what happened, that it's supposed to happen, and what will happen next. Amazing things. Then you start to see that you're not alone. Then you start to see that you're part of a bigger group. You're just continuing the legacy. And then you start to understand like a basic truth of church. That it was nothing, and it, that it was never, and it never will be about you. Because when you get to your calling, it's going to be with people and for the people. Then you understand why God is doing things in church and through church only and only enough and only when the church is in the unity. When there's no unity, there's no efficiency of the church. Church can, is, is not able to deliver what it's supposed to if it's not in unity. That's why you need to see the first unity with your family. Then you start to see unity in your church. Then you start to see unity in your, in your nation. And then you start to see that people matter. You start to acknowledge them. You start to see that they're important. You start to see that even people who are not Christians, not in a church, they had impact on you. And you'll be thankful for that. You start to appreciate them as well. And then all, all of this, will, you will start to understand that this whole journey is not yours. It's not something that you try to build and try to find a way, how, to, how do I supposed to live in, in this whole world? No. You're part of the bigger machine that God put you in so you'll be able to be led by the things that He told you and that how He leads you. So you'll be able to help gather people, unite with them, and then achieve the like a bigger goal, bigger calling that He put in you and in your nation. So listen, this is what I want you to take from this video. If you look and pay attention to details, you start to see how Father sec secures your way to your calling in his own way, just in between you two. And then how by pa paying attention to details with your family, with your nation, you start to see another layer, another layer, another layer. Things that are given to you not only to help you see what, uh, help you to see what you're supposed to do and how you fit in this whole picture, but also it was given to you so you would not feel alone. So you could be proud of the legacy that you're continuing. That you could really appreciate your elders, appreciate your parents, 
appreciate people who are not even not even Christians but they have an impact on you then you understand that everything is about unity because at the end of the day we are as a group as a church as a human race and we're going to see the 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 whole how this whole story will end because it was never your story it was ours so think about it do something about it because by doing just those th those three things paying attention to them you start to see that you're not alone you never were and you're becoming part of the bigger bigger group of people continuing the legacy continuing the legacy of those nations who waited for so many millennia for the king to come back and now you have a chance to being proud get yourself to the to, to the calling and understand this whole picture and leave your own your own imprint that'll be enjoyed and written in heaven enjoyed by many and then written in heaven so never underestimate how much more there is and how much how much more father is giving you so you would feel that it all makes sense at the end if you like this video like share and comment if you didn't comment as well tell me what you think and what is your experience and if there's anything you want me to talk about just give me a shout i'll be glad to do it for you well that being said see you tomorrow